Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today's part 5 of the home tour newly redesigned Oculus Quest user interface. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Told you it would be a different sound in every video. My name is Lazarus K, and today, welcome to part 5 of this guided home tour of the newly redesigned user interface, which was launched by Oculus Quest in version 16 not too long ago. So today we're going to be looking at how you can actually purchase your Oculus Quest and also your Oculus Go apps because perhaps you're not familiar with that in the newly designed interface and also how to search for stuff in the new UI. All right, by the way, part one, two, three and four in the description below. Let's go. All right, let's go to the multi-tab. Now, I know there's a lot of stuff, so don't worry. It could be a bit jarring, especially if you're new to the Oculus Quest. And for those who are used to the previous one, it can also be quite confusing. So let's go step by step. So uh, the first thing, this is pretty random. So this enables you to access some of the apps that you own straight away without having to go up here. And But up here, however, you have all these different tabs. So the home is what you see right here, right now when it loads. So you'll see it's classified by recommended for you, new in your library, popular destinations now, you know, all these kind of things. And then you can also customize your feed. So what you do is you go to customize feed and it will load these different uh, different tags that you can press on or click on or click off. And it will load these specific things in your newsfeed. And you can also do a search. Now for search, I thought we were supposed to be able to use our voice, but I'm not quite sure how that is. I do wish that uh, Oculus had a voice button there. You could just click on and say VR chat and VR chat would actually say up there, it would type automatically by its own, but it doesn't work like that. So not quite sure what's going on there. Now, if we go to another tab, we access back here again, go to store. And this is where you can buy all your Oculus apps. Now, those who are new to the Oculus Quest or those who are not familiar with what happens when you buy a, a new app. For example, I don't own Red Matter. So let's go to Red Matter and it will load the price here with a video and all these kind of things. Now, if I click on the actual price, it will show like a purchase button. Now, I'm not going to press it because otherwise my recording will stop. But what will happen is you will see a tab. Now, if it should say Oculus, enter your Oculus pin. Now, you see down here it has your Visa ending credit card. You can also add a promo code. But the thing is, if you switch off the Oculus pin, what's going to happen is if you click purchase, Boom, that's it. Your money will be gone from your bank account. It will be taken away straight away. Now, if you give your headset to your kids or maybe a friend of yours or someone who's not familiar or maybe someone likes to prank you for some reason, you know, because they know you can redeem it and, you know, get a refund basically for for the purchase within a specific amount of time, then, you know, they might just click purchase on 10 apps and, you know, oh my God, my money's gone. Or maybe you didn't even know that someone purchased it and you thought it was free. It's in your Oculus library. All of a sudden you're like, oh my God, wow, this is so cool. I got this red matter. I didn't have to buy. Wow, I'm so lucky, right? No, you're not. It's basically because someone else did the purchase for you uh, because you didn't have the Oculus pin. So I highly suggest that you do not take off the Oculus pin as an additional safety also for yourself and also so that people do not purchase app on your behalf without you knowing it. So just a tip there. So if we go back to a multi-tab, you can also go to all apps. So all apps will enable you to see basically everything in one little user interface. So not just your apps, but also all the different functions. There's a quick, quick function here for your home, your chat, your store, your parties and your browser as well. Some of the apps that I recommend try, but definitely recommend that one. Wonder, Ghost Giant, very good. Shadow Point, extremely good. Death Horizon is seriously not bad. Racket NX, definitely something worth seeing. Do hit the subscribe and notification bell because I have already reviewed some of these, but I will be reviewing some of these again so you can be notified when I do the reviews. And I forgot to mention also that in the store you will have here all types of different filters. 
Before I share with you some last tips, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch and comment on one of the previous videos, which was all about all the different VR YouTubers and YouTube channels that talk about VR. You guys are awesome. Remember to leave a comment below so I can give you a shout out in the next video. Now for those who used to have the Oculus Go and have upgraded to the Oculus Quest, good news for you. All you have to do is go to the multi app, go to all apps, and then you will see here a little quest icon. If you click here with your trigger, you will see Go Gear. Now you'll be able to play your Oculus Go or Gear VR apps on Quest. All of the eligible apps you own will appear here. Just download the apps and launch them to get started. You may notice that some of the apps work differently on your Quest. So here are some of the apps that I own, Hidden Fortune, Angest, Skyfighter, Space Flight, Welcome to Virtual Reality, Art Plunge, which is fantastic, Sky Knight. So there are some apps, of course, that don't work on the Quest also, by the way. So if you don't see them there, it's absolutely normal. But I just wanted to make you aware that you can also play your Go games on your Quest by accessing them from here. So if you go back to Quest, and then you can also filter by most recent, least recent, A to Z, Z to A, and also you can also filter by Oculus apps, installed apps, updates. So if I want to know all the apps that need an update on the fly, there you go, bang, all of them are here. So for example, virtual desktop needs an update. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that you found it useful. Remember that all the other parts of a different series before today is in the link description below. But until then, hit the like and subscribe. Share some love so that you and I together, 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 together can grow the community and help as many people in virtual reality. Because at the end of the day, that is what it's all about. All right, remember to hit the bell notification as well because I'll be uploading part six very soon. Until next time, high five to you. Take it easy, and as always, DJ, take it away.